Hello, uh, my name is John Stone. I'm a neurologist in Edinburgh and I've been involved in FND research for about 20 years with colleagues here, especially Alan Carlson. Uh, it's a real privilege to be part of FND Awareness Day UK. I know that around the UK there are still many patients that can't access a confident diagnosis or therapists with interests or expertise. I also know that there are many patients who have to live with FND day to day despite access to the best therapies. I think back that nine years ago there were no patient groups at all for FND. If you went on the internet at that point to look for support or help, there was absolutely nothing. So it's fantastic that we now have uh, seven charities and support groups across the UK uh, and others elsewhere. This is all a fantastic development. Um, I've seen for myself that uh, the way that patient-led groups uh, support people and provide information in ways that health professionals uh, like myself just can't. I've also seen how powerful the voices of patients with FND are when lobbying for services, guidelines, changes to policy and um, it's very exciting to think what we can do as health professionals and patients together to um, pr make changes. From a health professional side, I've seen huge changes in um, practice and evidence and research since I started in this area 20 years ago. We've still got a huge, a long way to go. Um, last year in Edinburgh, we had FND 2017, which was an international conference. I was hoping that maybe a couple of hundred people would come. Uh, in the end, 540 people came from around the world. There were representatives from patient groups, uh, neurologists, psychiatrists, psychologists, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists, really reflecting what a multidisciplinary um, problem and condition FND is and the different types of people that need to be involved uh, to help. I was also really excited by a number of new international collaborative initiatives, including um, one with the Movement Disorders Society, a Functional Movement Disorders Group, an international group looking at outcome measures. Uh, this is all very good news for the field. And I'm confident there'll be many more changes to come in the future. Um, quick plug, if you are a health professional listening to this, then please do have a look at uh, Functional Neurological Forum, fnforum.org. You can sign up there if you want to get information about um, health professional events. So, a great pleasure to be part of FND uh, UK Awareness Day on 25th of March and um, thank you to all of those who continue to um, raise awareness for FND. I know that many people are doing this, um, spending, spending a lot of time doing this for nothing um, in terms of payment and uh, Thank you for those who are fighting for services for each other, other patients, fighting against uh, stigma and for research. Bye-bye.